بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله from the sifat of mu'mineen the characteristics of ahl iman is that they should be trustworthy and in fact from one of the criterion for the authenticity of a hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is that the carriers of that uh, of, of those uh, narrations are trustworthy they're trustworthy individuals they're individuals who can be trusted trusted for their testimony trusty trusted for what they relay about the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so therefore because the Prophet ﷺ was Amin, was trustworthy, then that is a Sifa, or that is a characteristic, which is Mamduh. It is a characteristic which is which is uh, a praiseworthy characteristic. Listen to this hadith. <coughs> of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be trustworthy and bless us to be people of ikhlas and sincerity to him subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah forgive us of our many sins because our sins are testimony to a lack of our trustworthiness and to a lack of our sincerity if we continue to do sins especially major sins in opposition to what we know to be right, then this shows a lack of trustworthiness with our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and may Allah bless us with ikhlas with the bat. An Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu an the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal inna sidqa yahdi ilal bir when al bir yahdi ilal jannah وَإِنَّ رَجَلَ لَيَصَدِّقُ حَتَّى يُكْتَبَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ صَدِيقًا وَإِنَّ الْكَذِبَ يَهْدِي لِلْفُجُورِ وَإِنَّ الْفُجُورَ يَهْدِي لِلنَّارِ وَإِنَّ الرَّجَلَ لِيَكْذِبُ حَتَّى يُكْتَبَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ كَذَّابٍ متفق عليه This is a hadith in Bukhari and Muslim. The hadith of uh, Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala and he said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, he reported that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said verily truthfulness guides to bir and bir is uh, righteousness and all that is good so by being truthful that leads you to bir to uh, uh, righteousness and verily righteousness guides to Jannah you know that's the Sibyl Sibyl of Mu'mineen, Sibyl of Jannah that's the path to Jannah, to Paradise and may Allah bless us with Jannah to Firdaus when all of this dunya will not matter to us anymore may Allah bless us to get there, I mean Ya Rabbil Alameen and he said verily a man continue to tell the truth until it was written with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he is Sadiq and that he is a truthful one so watch your tongues and be truthful and verily lying leads to sinfulness or wickedness and verily wickedness leads to the hellfire and verily a man will continue to lie until it was written for him with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he is a liar, a kithabin. And this is related in Bukhari and Muslim. In this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it shows us that from the, sabi, from the sifat of the mu'mineen, the characteristics of the believer is truthfulness truthfulness and trustworthiness and likewise that 
from their characteristics also is of course righteousness Every, everything they have is righteous and that the Prophet والسلام, said in this hadith is that truthfulness it guides to righteousness so we, we know that truthfulness is a characteristic of righteousness and it guides to righteousness and that righteousness guides or is the path to Jannah it's the way to, to Jannah that's clear we know that we have to do that, that Ahl Jannah they do righteous deeds this is Ahl Iman a sifat of Ahl Iman that they do righteousness and this will get them to Jannah and he said that a man will continue to tell the truth until it was written with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he is sadiq and that he's a truthful man. All of us want to be written with our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala as someone truthful. So the person who continues to speak the truth, to be truthful with their family, truthful with their friends, truthful with their with whoever they encounter, that this characteristic of truthfulness leads to Jannah, leads to paradise. And opposite of that is that lying guides to sinfulness. When you lie, of course, this is this is sinfulness. This is a major sin. And it leads to more sinfulness. And I'll give you an example. Think about when you when when a person is uh, caught for doing something wrong. This person was caught, for example, stealing. Perhaps one of the first things they'll do is begin to lie. So they were caught in a sin and they begin to sin to try to get out of that the the repercussions of having done that sin so they begin to lie so they incur more sin and from these lies maybe someone else begins to do something sinful or do something operate according to that to that lie or the lies it's like you're digging a grave digging more and more sin more and more wickedness and this is how it it continues to spiral out of control to wickedness, to sinfulness. And of course we know as the Prophet said that wickedness leads to the hellfire. Doing wickedness leads to the hellfire. And verily a man will continue to lie until he is written with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, and is known as a liar. And so, Ahabatifillah, being very cautious with your tongue, as the Prophet said in countless ahadith, that the tongue can be a means to getting you to Jinnah and it can be a means to getting you to the fire. And that by being cautious with one's tongue, this is from Iman, restraining one's tongue, and this is uh, the, the one who has righteous manners. And those are the people whose scale is heavy on the day of Jinn, uh, on the day of Yom Al Qiyamah. The one whose whose scales are heavy with good deeds. So by being speaking truthfulness, you're weighing heavily on your scales of good deeds. When you lie the opposite and do for jewel wickedness, your scale becomes heavy with wicked with wicked deeds and those things which are going to cause you to go into the fire. Wa iyadin billah min dalik. The Prophet said, Ma min shayin, athkulu fi mizan al mu'min, yom al qiyamah min husn al khulq, wa inna allaha yubghidu al fahish al badi. The Prophet said that there isn't a thing which weighs heavier on the scale of the believer, of the mu'min, on the day of judgment than righteous deeds. That, of course, that means in a court included in that is of course Tawheed because that's what that's the epitome of righteousness to, to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone but as far as the manners that's why we can't belittle that we can't say we're from Ahlul Sunnah or a person can be from Ahlul Sunnah but this takes away from their Iman it takes away from their Fadl their status with Allah and their status with the creation if they are a person who lies this is a wicked sin maybe their Aqidah is, is, is sound but their, their manners don't bear witness to that. So they're just 
sin. They can spend time in the fire. Of course you can spend time in the fire. Your Akita can be sound. Your Akita can be sound. But you can die in Kufr, on an act of Kufr. And then the hellfire forever. So it's not sufficient for us just to say and claim things without practicing it and without being truthful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the Prophet said, There isn't a thing which is heavier on the scale of the believer on the day of judgment than good manners. And verily, Allah hates wicked speech and sinful speech. Al-Fahj al bidi that which leads to more wickedness, that which is, is very, uh, you know, the person who, for example, is spoken about and they are excessive in their response. Someone has called you a mubtada, so you curse them, you curse their family, you curse uh, their race, you, you go way beyond the bounds. La, a'udhu billah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates Al-Fahj al bidi Ahl-Sunnah has to restrain their tongues. This is the characteristic. Why? Because Ahl Sunnah, this is Sabila Mu'mineen. When we say from Ahl Sunnah, that means we're saying we're trying to follow the Sabila Mu'mineen, the path of the believers. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with Alman Nafi, Rizkil Baybu, Amal Mutakabidin, and bless us to be the Siddiqeen, Wa Shuhada, Wa Salihin, Wa Anbiya. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be with them on the Day of Judgment, to be raised up and, and with them in Jannah. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen and bless us to be of the Siddiqeen in this dunya wa l'akhirah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.